From our neighborhood to yours, this is AMI Halifax. I'm Jenny Bovard for Accessible Media. Catherine Taylor organized a leadership conference for an often marginalized group of people. <laughs> youth Now is an organization that is for youth living with chronic health conditions, disabilities, or mental health conditions. And it's an organization that brings these youth together um, to help foster and grow their leadership skills. She says it's all about instilling the confidence to become leaders in society. Youth in the chronic health community have something especially great to offer because of their lived experience. Workshops and guest speakers focused on telling your own story and using your experience living with health concerns to benefit others. Caleb Kenward attended the conference. He says it's helpful to be surrounded by people with crucial life experience who have advice about living with a chronic illness. It's really reassuring to know that there's other people around you dealing with the same thing, they have the same problems, and you can really learn and grow off each other a lot because a lot of what I learned, for example, comes from other people and their experiences because there's just stuff you don't find out if you go to hospitals all the time just talking to your doctor. Drew Dudley is the founder of Nuance Leadership Incorporated. He spoke at the conference about the benefits of being a leader. I think honestly what you find in all the research says that people who feel like leaders, they're happier, they feel more empowered, they're more productive. Generally, they, if you feel like you're a leader, you tend to feel a lot more empowered about your own life and you tend to do more things to make sure that it's a good one. Leadership is from striving to act every day in a way that makes it more likely you'll have a positive impact on your own life and on the lives of other people. And that's not beyond or beneath any of us. Jenny Bovard, AMI, Halifax.